Twitter made another change today. It removed the government-funded labels from the accounts of CBC and other media organizations. Shruti Shaker is a tech reporter and managing editor for Android Central in Toronto. She tells us what she thinks is behind this reversal by the tech company. I think it's quite interesting, and I think part of the reason Mr. Musk probably decided to do this was because he was likely afraid that there are going to be multiple publications around the world, including the CBC, um, who will stop using the platform. And I think right now, Mr. Musk is doing everything he can to try to retain the number of users on his platform. Um, and I and I think, you know, to an extent as well, I think he, he really wants to try and make sure that people... Uh, side with him and, and agree with what he's doing. Um, you know, I think for so long, we don't really understand the moves that Mr. Musk has been making. Um, so, so this is definitely an interesting development. And I, I definitely think part of the reason is because he just, he doesn't want to lose more people to the platform. Did it surprise you? I mean, it's only a few days later and it's gone. No explanation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I think I, I don't think I'm ever surprised with what Mr. Musk is doing these days because any decision he makes can happen at a at a flip of a switch. Um, you know, he he had been talking about removing blue check marks for a while, and then it didn't happen, and now it finally has happened. And so, you know, I'm not surprised in this sort of erratic behavior in terms of deciding to do something and not doing something. I think. Part of the reason for this specific one is because it is directed, you know, specifically to publications. You know, I know that there are several publications around the world that have dealt with this, including the CBC, and not having publications that, you know, do provide accurate and credible information on the platform can be problematic to Mr. Musk and his and his, and, and Twitter on a whole. And so I think that's one of the reasons why this change was taken in place really quickly because of the backlash. Uh, from when it first happened. So, as I was mentioning, several media organizations left or paused their usage on Twitter due to the labels. At this point, and I mentioned uh, the CBC is putting it on pause right now, uh, you know, thinking about next steps. With the retraction of these labels, should they rejoin? I think that they have to be very careful in terms of deciding to rejoin. I think obviously part of the reason for why I say that is because of this erratic nature of what Twitter um, has has had for some time now. However, I think there would be a disservice for especially credible publications to not go back and start using their platform again, mainly because Twitter does have a very influential, it, it is a very influential platform for a lot of people to receive their news. And, you know, there are so many publications around the world, again, including the CBC, that provide that news, that offer that news to the public, it is a source of, of a way for people to get to that information. And I worry that if there are publications who pull out from Twitter, you know, there will be publications who are more right winged, who are more, you know, biased, who, who people will turn to and will not receive that credible, accurate information that they really do deserve to, to get. Now, many of Twitter's high-profile users, as you mentioned, also lost the blue checks that helped to verify their identity and distinguish them from imposters. How do you think this will influence the credibility of users and, and the platform as a whole? I think it's going to be incredibly problematic. I think part of the reason, and I think most people may not understand, is that getting that blue check mark was sort of a right. It, it, you really built your credibility to be able to get that blue check mark, whether you're a journalist, a media professional, a, a, you know, a, a person in the entertainment industry, a politician. All of these people really earned that right to have that blue check mark. Now, anyone can have a blue check mark, and people who don't have a blue check mark, well, I guess now we're famous <laughs> to an extent. But, but the problem that I see by that is now uh, there could be copycats. You know, when we see people like Kim Kardashian, LeBron James, um, Stephen King, who do not have a blue check mark anymore, and, and then we could start seeing copycats who have similar names, I worry that that credibility will, lost, will be lost even more and people will not be able to decipher who, who is the right person that they should be following. The very purpose of a blue check mark was to elicit that. Um, you know, credibility to give that sort of level of um, professionalism um, and, and accuracy to that individual. And now I worry that that is, is going to get lost. 
Okay, just finally. So it's not only, you know, high profile users. You mentioned some people in the entertainment and, and sports world, but it's also government agencies, not for profit, uh, public service accounts that also use their check mark, say, to tell people about a flood or about uh, a shooting or something like that. How much could this impact the spread of disinformation across Twitter for some of those, you know, important emergency situations that, that people rely on? You're absolutely right. It's not just famous people. It is government agencies as well. And that I really worry even more so. I mean, I guess maybe it is a good thing now that we don't have blue check marks because maybe people will take extra efforts to do more research to ensure that the information that they're getting is accurate. However, I also fear that people might not necessarily do that. They might just take the information that they get at face value and just go with it. So my worry is that people are not going to you know, pay attention to what could be misinformation. Those labels are not, at least I don't see those labels on Twitter anymore. And I worry that there could be a heightened level of, of the spread of misinformation. And it is incredibly problematic. And I highly recommend that when you start to use Twitter now, and now that you don't see those blue check marks, do your research and do extra research. It is really, really important.